Everybody, well, we're in the X2 testing area now, and let's take a look at our quest. Yeah, initiate the residential cyberdog guard test at the X8 test terminal. Okay, I don't know why we have to do that. It's actually, you know, these quests are kind of stupid. They're not making a whole lot of sense, but let's do it anyway, right? Okay, let's set up. Remember to loot all this stuff as you're going along. Now, the exit, one exit is this way, so we could go to the X8 Central facility, but let's, there's something else over here, too. Let's just see what it is. This might just be an empty room of nothingness. No, no, it keeps going on. Okay. Oh, let's just see. Yeah, see, it's just like regular stuff. I'm gonna, I'll come back here and loot this later. Um, don't forget the Foot Locker, either. There's, like, uh, plenty of, um ammo to be had. Oh, and then there's also yet another way. Okay, that requires a key, the kennel. There's cyber dogs in here, that's why there's a kennel, obviously, before they're converted to cyber dogs, I assume. And now what is, huh, it seems as though I was already here. Or maybe not. Okay, we got a shotgun and he's got a proton axe. Oh. Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. This does, uh, this really devastates his head. Yeah, there, see? Good. Now let's, oh, right, of course. And he had, oh, well, it looks like we're gonna have to hit someone with a super sledge. Yeah, whoops, I missed. I don't know how that happened. Whoa, whoa, that super sledge is devastating, isn't it? Yeah, I heard that. Ah. <laughs> now he's gonna come around and try to punch me. That's your tough luck. Man. This is not working out at all, is it? Where do you think you're going? Okay, well she's crippled and she knows it, so we'll save her for another day. But we have to take care of him, apparently, don't we? Uh-huh. Boom. And one more, and that should take care of him, right? No, it'll take one more. Or maybe two more still. No, yep, there we go. And she will come around again. We're just going to have to pay attention if she comes around the corner again. Oh, let's recycle some stuff while we're here, right? And... No, 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 no. Recycle energy cell, sure. Just in case I need to use the sonic uh, emitter. There. Okay. Now let's see what he had. Uh, everything. Good. And a Remington shotgun. I'm going to use that and repair the one that I have already. Hmm. Oh, that's looking good. I've got... It's almost... It is at full strength now. Good. Now this... Okay. That was the kennel. Now let's go down this way. If we find a... Yeah, that's it, the Proton X, but I really... I mean, I'll take it. Now, yeah, see, I can't I can't do that. Um, it's just not gonna work. Um, you know, I'll use a doctor's bag and then I'll be able to run around again. Yeah, there we go. Yay! I am sorry I put your brain in a bowl, boy. Oh, who's a good boy? <laughs> All right, well, Gabe is uh, Dr. Boris's little dog or something. I haven't really been paying a whole lot of attention to him because he doesn't make a lot, of, a whole lot of sense. All right, now we're... Uh, prickly pear fruit? Yeah, let's see those. It didn't bring us down to... Uh, huh, okay, we can use one of those. All right. Well, there's an exit. Oh, dog and lobotomite splicing experiment. Okay, let's just see what that is really quick. Um, if it's a, uh, yeah, splicing data that could be used at the X8 biomechanical splicing terminal. 
Okay, so we're getting closer to the splicing terminal, apparently, right? Let's just see what's in here. Nothing. I'm not going to take that now. Okay, observatory terminal. Um, if you want to pause and uh, read these, just, just pause. I'm just going to go through these really quick. Please advise. Yeah. And I'm going to pause in a minute so I can look through these myself because I'm missing some important stuff in here. Okay, pause it if you want to read it. And then here we go. And there we go. In fact, it, it was important that we read that because now we've got yet another thing to do. Okay, let's pause here. Okay, there we go. And we're, you know, the extra item that we got just a minute ago, I think it's for a different data retrieval test. See, but we're still on this, the residential cyber dog test. So we need to kind of focus on that for now. It's easy to get sidetracked in here. I mean, we've been in here for a while now, like four videos. Um, so that was the end of that area. So now we'll go, let's head into the kennels now. I assume, oh, was that her? Yep, that, see, she came back, just like I said. Well, the power fits just does, whoops, ah! Oh my god, that was, there, super sledge goes away, yeah. And now I'm gonna have to, oh, I saw, I have two proton axes, so we'll just uh, repair one. I didn't realize I had two. Yeah, awesome. Good. Now we've got a extra good proton axe. Do you want to see what it looks like when I wield it? Let's just see it. Ta-da! And there it is. Hmm. All right. Well, you know, let's let's hold on to it for a little while. Okay, that required a key, the kennel. But now let's go over here because we can get through this area and that's where our uh, target is anyway yep right here okay and this should load in a second it shouldn't take too long yeah there we go and now hey this is the same area that we were in before wasn't it yep it sure was it's the same research area so now what maybe this yep that's what we do Okay, now we enter the inter institutional data retrieval. Uh-huh. Replay the basic test. Oh, I think we already did this, right? Advanced test. A sonic emitter is required to complete this test. I see. I do have a sonic emitter, so... How do you... Okay, well, you know, we'll deal with that in a minute. I think... Well, anyway, you know... Yeah, replay basic test. Okay, anyway, this is what we came here for, the residential cyber dog guard test, right? So now enter the residential cyber dog guard test. Okay, beware of dog. Uh-oh. So now, well, it says that we have to go through here. It sounds like it changed or something. Like what's behind the door is not the same as it was before. I need to go around and replenish my hit points. Uh, the reason is I'm almost out of stim packs right here. See? Yeah, I only have one left. Okay, let me pause and find a water fountain. Okay, so what I did, I went back to the sink and I rested up and um, I sold a lot of stuff. And I'll show you what kind of weapons I have now. I have the laser rifle, I have the ballistic fist, and the proton axe, and then plasma grenades, uh, mercy of course, and the pulse gun. Okay, let's head in. I'll skip through the load screen. Okay, here we go. Yikes, big dog. Uh, let's find out. Let's use the Proton Axe because he's a dog. And I think it, it's pretty effective on him. Let's see. Yeah. Gabe. So it's Boris's dog that I'm going to have to kill. Okay, here we go. And... Uh, boom! <laughs> and... Oh, shit, shit. There we go. Oh, God, look what he did to me. That really sucks. So now we've got all these blips all over my radar. Uh, oh, I see. I, <laughs> his digging spots. Okay. So I just have to kind of loot his digging spots. Okay, he's got an atomic core, and it's going to blow up. I got it. I mean, through all the yakking, I'm able to figure out. Yeah, it's 
So what? We're just gonna have to find uh, the right stuff. I guess we just have to look at all of his digging spots. And this is actually a good time to pause. I'll kind of hide behind here, and then I should be all right. Oh, whatever. And then I'll just end the video right after he detonates. <laughs> Okay, let's end here, and I'll continue in the next video, and I'll figure out how to heal. Okay, if you like this, then click the like button, and comment, share it with your friends, and we'll see you next time.